ni siku moja kabla ya mchezo wa kwanza kabisa wa nyumbani katika kuadia makundi mchakato wa kufuzu kwa michuano ya Afrika mwaka 2023 Tanzania dhidi ya Algeria kesho katika uwanja wa Benjamin Mkapa na hapa tulipo ni katika ukumbi wa mikutano makao makuu ya shirikisho la soka nchini TFF eneo ya Ilala hapa jijini Dar es Salaam kilichokukusanya hapa pamoja na wanahabari wote ni kujua nini ambacho anakwenda kuzungumza kocha Kim Paulsen na benchi lake la ukundi kuelekea katika mchezo wa kesho dhidi ya timu ya taifa ya Algeria. Mimi ni Alwa na Ramadhan Goda lakini kijiti kwa sasa ni dakika kwake Super Clip of Mario Ndimbo ye aweze kuendesha mkutano um, huu na waandishi wa habari pamoja na kukaribisha benchi la ukundi kwa ajili ya kuzungumza na wana habari. Bimbo Mario. Asante uh, uh, Goda. Uh, karibuni sana kwenye mkutano wetu ambao ni mkutano wa kiufundi kuelekea kwenye mchezo wa kufuzu Afcon 2023 dhidi ya Algeria mchezo ambao utachezwa kesho saa moja za jioni uwanja wa Benjamin Mkapa na tayari tupo na kocha mkuu wa Taifa Stars Kim Pausen pamoja na kocha msaidizi Shadrack Nsajigwa uh, wako hapa kwa ajili ya kutueleza kiufundi zaidi na Algeria wenyewe Uh, wakati wanakwenda mazoezini basi wataweza kuzungumza na waandishi uh, kabla ya mazoezi pale uwanjani lakini kwa sasa uh, wenyeji wa mchezo Taifa Stars wakitupa karata yao ya pili hapo kesho uh, welcome coach for the technical meeting thank you very much uh, habari ya mchana nice nice to see all of you again and see so many of you it's always good to have a good interest about the Taifa Stars Tomorrow we will have our second game for the Afghan qualifying against uh, Algeria. And I think we all know that Algeria is one of the top team of the continent. They have been very successful in Afghan for, for a long time. And the strength of Algeria is, in my opinion, that they, they have a lot of quality, individual quality at all positions, a lot of talent. And at the same time, it's also a very well-organized and structured team, which uh, uh, make it a, a tough opponent for us. And I think it's also important to understand that when you play Algeria, whatever you play at home or you play away, you have to respect that Algeria will be the favorite of the game. The reason I mention this is that sometimes I hear, okay, you have to win your home games. Yes, we are going in to be competitive tomorrow, but if you start the game against Algeria and believe that we Taifa Stars are the favorite, you are on the wrong direction. You have to respect and you have to acknowledge that you are playing a top team who are well structured, have high quality everywhere around, and then you have to adapt to that situation and say, how do we play our card best possible. Last game in Algeria they played Uganda, but they, they won the game, that's one thing, but if you look at the possession rate, Uganda managed to have 19.19%, so Algeria they had more than 80% possession of the game. I think that's a clear indication how strong uh, they are. For me, and for technical bands, Shadrach, we are looking very much forward to the game. Because we know it's a tough game, it's a tough challenge. And our players, they really will be forced to play up to their maximum because we need to perform at a very high level. And I think our players, they are ready for that. When you play Algeria, one of the challenges is that they, with the quality they have, they are very quick and they will give you less time Uh, less space that you normally have and when you get less space that means you also get less time to to do your your job the receiving and the passing and that's one of the interesting question that is how are our players able to cope with that kind of pressure taking this uh, the space and reduce the time they have to cope with that tomorrow so that's what we have been been training and As I say, we have, we have a, a clear game plan for, for the match. And uh, when we played uh, in Benin against Niger, every game gave us some answer of some of the questions. And I was happy in Niger to see that we have a strong uh, bench. 
I like the, the way the player from the bench they came in. They did a good uh, job when they came in. And I can also say there is a very good uh, commitment attitude, not only for the player in the starting line, but also those sitting on the bench. They are there to support, but they are also ready to play their part. And I think when we play two games in a short uh, interval, and we have to do a lot of traveling, it will be important that you have a strong bench so you can do your changes along the way. Because the game might go in phase one and then in phase two. And I'm happy that, especially on the offensive side, I think we have, uh, we have a very strong bench and we can do, if some people get tired along the way, no problem. I will tell them, give all what you have when you are tired. We make a substitution and we will keep the same, uh, the same level on the team. So it's, we have to use the whole squad uh, tomorrow. And uh, it's, it's good that nearly all players are available. The only one who is ruled out is Himit Mao, because he got injured in the last game. And he won't be able to, to take part in, in, in this game, because he has a groin uh, issue. So he's on the treatment, but he will be out. All others should be uh, fine for, for tomorrow. And it was very nice that uh, after the, the game in Benin, we had a direct flight back immediately after the game. So we had time to have our training uh, yesterday. And so we had a couple of good training and we'll have another session today to fine tune uh, the work. And we also have our meeting at the hotel about how we want to approach uh, the game. I think it's going to be a very interesting game because it's one of the powerhouse of the continent who is coming here. And we are a competitive team and I told the player, go in and set a new standard for what Typha Stars are able to do. And we are, we, are, we are ready for the game and we are looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Any questions? Yes. Yes, coach. Um, for the second time, we are starting uh, our campaign uh, with an away game. And uh, this time around, it's been the same. We started away and uh, we have got a 1 1 draw. Um, has it been any of our advantages to start with an away game, the, 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 the qualifiers campaign? No, I, th I think. Uh it was good that we, when we went to play against Niger, the players have in the mind that the last number of times when we have played abroad against strong opponent, we have achieved to get some points. And that, that boosts the confidence. So there was a confidence that we'll get something, about, uh, get something uh, out of the game versus Niger. Uh, the game against Niger was, uh, was difficult in, in different ways. Uh, we had an early lead when we, when we played Niger and sometimes when you get an early lead it, it, it gives you a mental lead that you think you have to start defending. That was not the plan. So I was not that pleased with our performance in the first half. But I think in the second half we were getting more and more. We are looking at our, uh, who is available, what quality we have, what, how can we close down their strengths, how can we put our strengths into the game. And that will end of the day, the game decide uh, the system. For me, it's not, the system is not that important. It's more that the best player at this moment for this game, they will be filled in to do the, for do the job. Sometimes along the way, you will make changes in the system that we did there. Because at that time, we were feeling, OK, let's, they put a lot of long high ball because they were tall players. Uh, Algeria play in a different way. so. We will, we will approach it in what we believe is the best way to, to get a good result against Algeria. Thank you. Yes, I think by the results of good against Algeria, in 7 nil we defeat away. Do you think that you a good, good example to your back line to correct the uh, problems? I think for our Yesterday, when we had our training and we were working with our backline, one of the, the topics we are working is that it is the many small details who makes the difference uh, in the defending. Because when you play at national level, you, are, you can make mistakes without being punished. But when you play international, 
and you make small, small mistakes, bang, you will be hurt. So we have to minimize these kind of errors and a number of corners from both sides to clear this ball. So we have put was our emphasis uh, on this and we have also see, seen where Algeria they want to put the ball and we know of course Slimani who is, uh, who is a very very experienced uh, striker. He's not that movable anymore but he will stay in the box and they use him in two ways. They use him as a playing station and he released the ball and then when the ball goes to the winger, then that's where he is. And of course our defender, I can't make them taller, yeah. but I can, I can tell them how to, to go on. Maybe you don't win the challenge, but you can go on the body, so he cannot get power in it. And if I see so far, yes, we, had some, we were suffering a bit in, uh, in Niger for, for the high balls. So that's the reason we put emphasis on that, to try to correct the timing of it. Because I still think a player like Bakari or also Dixon, they are good in, in header. They just have to start from the right position and then win the ball and one go for the ball. And it's also important that the other players, they cover up around. Because you, sometimes you have to respect to say if they bring 10 high balls for Slimani, he's going to win one, two or three of them. So then you have to be ready for that second ball where he tried to, to head the ball. So we have our emphasis on, on this. Uh, coach, uh, you are going to play against a top team, as you said. So do we expect that you can start with more experienced players rather than combine them, uh, like uh, you are using a decent match? I think it's always... Uh, Yes, you, you need to have uh, experience when you play international games, uh, but you also have to look at who is, who is performing well at this uh, moment for, for, for the training, and that's how we balance uh, the team. There have to be a good uh, balance, and sometimes it can be good that you have experienced player, then along the way you get new energy in for more, because sometimes if a young player starts from the beginning, it can affect him a little bit, but if he comes in after uh, second half or first half, he comes in, then he comes in with a lot of energy and do it. So we try to balance out the talent, the experience. For me, it's not enough to have experience. End of the day, we are talking about one thing, the quality. Other questions? But experience is also a quality. Don't forget that. Any more questions? Yeah, um, coach, from how you, you know Algeria, and uh, we all know how the top team are, but uh, perhaps uh, you might be in a chance to, to get some lessons in the uh, very last game against Uganda. Uganda must have given you some lessons against that area, haven't they? Of course, when I see Uganda have the ball less than 20%, I'm not, I'm not happy to see that because if you don't manage to get the ball less than 20%, your chances of winning the game is going down, down, down. So we have to be able to, to, to do a, a little bit different compared with Uganda. For what Uganda game, we, it highlighted the quality of Algeria where they have the strengths and we try to see how we can close down for their strengths. We know when they attack, they always attack with a fullback and a winger, two players high on both sides. We know number 10, what he do. So we have analyzed all these things and we try. As I say, end of the day, the big question, and you never know the answer about this question, how can our player cope with the pressure from uh, Algeria? They know what to do, but sometimes you know what to do, but the the, the space you are given and the time you are given is much shorter, smaller than you are used to and that makes you make mistake. So we have to be comfortable enough and hopefully the player can cope with that. But we will see that tomorrow, how will they cope uh, with that. That's a big question when you meet a strong opponent. But as I say, you have to play your card smart. Because if we, when we play Algeria, if we get too many 1-1 one -one situations around the pitch, it will be difficult for us. We have to be 
close to each other so we can try to be two against one. Because one on one we know they have a lot of quality around and they can beat one of our players, yes, but then there have to be another one to give the support. So we have to be a strong unit. Of course, Algeria, they will try to stretch us, which they managed to do with Uganda. They stretched Uganda out, so there was a far distance from one Uganda player to another one, so they were not able to support each other. This is the battle of tomorrow, the quality of the two teams. I believe in our player, I believe in Typhus Stars, that we can, will do a good job. And I can tell you one thing for sure, we go in with a competitive attitude to get something out of the game. Thank you so much. Pleasure to see all of you and hope to see you tomorrow at the National Stadium. Asante sana. Thank you very much. And, uh, Ah, ni kocha wa timu ya Taifa Tanzania Kim Pozen akizungumza na habari kulegari kama mchezo wa kufuzu Afcon mwaka 2023 mchezo ambao utachezwa kesho eh, katika uwanja wa Benjamin William Mkapa Stadium kesho uh, saa moja kamiliza usiku wamezungumza kwa upana kuhusiana na hali ya kikosi eh, mazingira na kadhalika changamoto na vitu vingi kuhusiana na kikosi chake lakini kikubwa alichokizungumzia ni uwezo wa Algeria ambao upo katika kiwango kikubwa hasa katika umiliki wa mpira lakini vile vile uwezo wa wachezaji mmoja mmoja kwa hiyo yeye kwa kutambua hizo details za wachezaji wa Algeria amefanya kazi na wachezaji na kuwakumbusha hasa hasa uh, mambo muhimu katika kikosi lakini kikubwa alichokikumbusha zaidi ni kuhusiana na E, matokeo ya mchezo wa mwisho ambao walifungwa goli a, mchezo wa miaka kadhaa nyuma hapa walifungwa idadi kubwa ya magoli magoli saba kwa hiyo yeye amelishughulia vipi kwa hiyo amezungumza kwa upana na sasa tunamuona Haji Manara e, ameingia hapa na jambo la kutujuza sisi wana habari karibu yes aribuni baada ya kumaliza mkutano wetu wa kiufundi ambao tumeelekea kocha akizungumza kiufundi kuelekea kwenye mchezo wa kesho mbele yenu tupo na mwenyekiti wa kamati ndogo ya masa ya Taifa Stars Haji Manara eh, kuelekea kwenye mchezo wetu wa kesho eh, tumsikie naye amekuja na kitu gani tutakumbuka jana pia eh, tulikuwa na sehemu ya mkutano kuelekea kwenye mchezo huo Leo pia tumewasikia makocha na sasa tumsikie mwenyekiti wa kamati ndogo ya Hamasa Haji Manara. Karibu. Asante Cliff. Jamani habari za mchana. Mimi sina mengi. Kwanza nishukuru kwa mkutano wa jana ambao ulikwenda vizuri na bahati mbaya eh, majukumu ya jana kidogo yalikuwa yamenzidia lakini nikasema na mimi leo kwenye presi baada ya watu wa technical kuzungumza na mimi nijikusema kupitia kamati yetu ya hamasa ya timu za taifa uh, kwanza nitumie fursa hii kuwapongeza Serengeti Girls na nimeona leo wameenda kupewa heshima iliyotukuka kuingia pale kukaa katika viti wanavotumia waheshimiwa wa bunge ni zaidi ya heshima nadhani kwa watu wa football kuna wakati wakati wa kocha Maximo sikumbuka mailiingia timu nzima au <coughs> baadhi ya wachezaji lakini wakati wa Maximo nakumbuka pia tulipewa hiyo heshima uh, katika kile msajili wanacheza sisi tulishinda kombe gani kama sikosei au kufuzu sasa kwa mabinti wale kwa age yao kuvaa suti kukaa pale ni heshima kubwa kwao lakini eh, ni heshima kwetu wote wa Tanzania wamekuwa ni kizazi cha kwanza kucheza World Cup ili lazima mlirudie rudie yani ibaki katika rekodi hakuna timu ya football iwe ya vijana iwe ya wakubwa iwe ya wanawake <coughs> kucheza World Cup Welcome sio jambo dogo. Kwa hiyo tuwapongeze sana na kwa niaba ya kamati yetu ndogo ya masa 
tunawapongeza sana na tunawatakia kila laheri kwenye tournament hiyo kubwa. Lakini kubwa lolonita hapa ni kuelekea mchezo wa kesho dhidi ya Algeria. Kwa hivyo vyote vile mechi itakuwa ngumu Algeria na wachezaji wengi wakubwa lakini sisi tuko nyumbani. Mashindano kama haya ni lazima utumie vizuri home ground na uwezo wa kufanya hivyo tunao. Tushafanya hivyo kwa Algeria. Wengi mnaizungumzia mechi ambao tulitoka sare hapa mbili mbili lakini Algeria wakiwa na kikosi bora kabisa na wakitoka miaka michache nyuma kushinda ubingwa wa Afrika walikuja hapa Dar es Salaam tukawafunga goli mbili kwa moja za e, za Edibiru Nyamila na Madaraka Suleiman 1995 wakiwa na wachezaji wakubwa hapa tuliwafunga katika qualify kwenda Afcon na bahati mbaya tulikosa nafasi kidogo tu ile Afcon ya 96 ya South Africa kwa nafasi na uwezo wa kuwafunga tunao lakini wachezaji wetu sasa hivi washakuwa na wamejengeka huo utamaduni wanakuwa wanacheza vizuri sana kukiwa na fans kama mmechunguza wanacheza na support yetu sasa sitegemee kuona tena sisi baadhi yetu tumekaa majumbani mechi ya kesho hii ni mechi kubwa sana na kwa kisheni katika ile group letu ambalo pia tuna Uganda na Nija kesho tukiweza kupata alama tatu tutakuwa tumejiweka katika mazingira mazuri sana ya kufuzu afwa kwa sababu kila group linaingiza timu mbili au tsepo sasa nafasi ya sisi kufuzu kama tutakuwa tunapata matokeo nyumbani ni kubwa sana tumeshiriki afwa mbili kwa ukubwa wa nchi yetu kwa ukubwa wa jina letu hatuwezi kubaki tena na mashindano ya mawili tu ya Afcon lazima tuongeze namba na hii 2023 liwe shindano letu la tatu la Afcon wenzetu TFF wameziimarisha hizi timu za taifa tulikuwepo zamani tuko tunajua timu za taifa hata mahali ilipokuwa ikiishi miaka ile ya tisini, miaka ya themanini, paka miaka elfu mbili kabla ya ujio wa, 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 wa rais wa awamu ya nne na timu ya kina maksimo timu zikuwa zinakaa pale salvation army pale so dogo unaenda kula pale unaangalia uchezaji da kama vile unakula chakula cha ubwabwa nyumbani kwa mama lakini leo timu ya taifa ina kasi nzuri inasafiri kwa private jet private jet ndugu yangu muisikie hivyo hivyo chuma kukitoa hapa kukupeleka Niger ni kazi kubwa wanafanya wa shirikisho timu za vijana zinacheza mashindano yote siku hizi hakuna mashindano haya Tanzania imejitoa sisi Serengeti imejitoa sisi timu ya taifa amna kila shindano tumo na tutafuti na ulia tuchangishi bakuli wala nini tunakwenda na ndio maana tumefika mpaka World Cup ya vijana under 17 hii manake kuna kazi kubwa wanaifanya. Sisi wajibu wetu ni kuwasukuma. Kuwashukuru lakini na kuatia shime. Kesho ikitokea bahati mbaya, mpira ni mchezo ambao wakati mwingine hauna tu na ukatili, una 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 una, una, una dhulma. Na dhulumiwa sio kwa maana ya barefreeza au vipi, dhulma tu ya matokeo gonga posti kipigwa kipaka ukoo kipigwa offside ile ni dhulma timu sahi inakosa matokeo sahi sasa ikitokea bahati mbaya hii tujue huu ni mpira tusianze kunyosha vidole aidha wachezaji ama makocha ama viongozi wa shirikisho sisi wote ni wa Tanzania ikitokea bahati mbaya tumefungwa ni nchi hajafungwa karia wala Clifford wala Kidau wala Kim Paulsen wala wachezaji tumefungwa nchi Aniombe tuache tofauti zetu baada ya kesho tarudi kwa tofauti zetu. Tumaliza tu dakika tisini pe tuanzishe mijadala yetu. Lakini sasa hivi concentration focus yetu kila mtanzania ielekezwe kwenye mechi ya kesho na naomba sana watanzania wenzangu twende uwanjani kuwashangilia timu yetu inshallah uh,
ukipata matokeo itakuwa ahlan wa sahlan lakini ikitokea bahati mbaya hiyo ndio football Mungu ibariki Tefestas Mungu ibariki Tanzania Mungu ibariki Afrika Asante sana na habari Shukran sana Amitaka niseme na wasaidie basi na Mungu wasaidie kifo ndimbo <laughs> Sawa jamani shukrani kwa kunisikia mwenyekiti wa kama kidogo ya masa uh, ya timu za taifa amezungumza mambo makubwa kuelekea kwenye mchezo wetu wa kesho lakini kama nilivyosema jana pia kwamba mambo yote haya bila nyinyi waandishi habari pia uh, kiukweli hayawezi kufika kokote kwa pia tuwashukuru mnafanya kazi kubwa mnafanya kazi nzuri uh, tuendelee kuisukuma uh, nchi yetu tuendelee kusukuma timu zetu za taifa uh, kama tunavyofahamu kwamba tunapeperusha bendera ya taifa na tukuperushi bendera ya mtu. Kwa hivyo pia kesho bila shaka kwa wingi wenu nilioona leo basi bila shaka kesho pia wingi wetu tutakuwa sote uwanjani. Baada ya kusema hayo niwashukuru sana. E, naamini kwamba alichozungumza haji hakina maswali. Hakina. Ya, kwa hiyo kwa sababu wenzetu pia wana mkutano wao ambao walisogeza mbele kwa sababu ya timu ya taifa basi baada ya kumaliza haya Uh, naamini wote kwa umoja wetu tutaelekea tena kwenye nimeangalia nimetafuta nima, gari hapo posta kwa wale ambao watakuwa usafiri basi angalau muahi tuliahirisha kwa sababu timu ya taifa mbele club zetu zinafuata kwa wale mwatarishia gari hapo nadhani jamaa washaleta basi posta ipo hiyo hapo ah nauli ali Nao. Na mwenyekiti wa kamati ndogo ya Hamasa ya TFF ya, ya timu ya Rafa Tanzania Haji Manara pia amezungumza leo katika mkutano na na habari akiwa sehemu ya wale ambao wana jukumu la kuhamasisha mashabiki e, na lile ambalo linahusu timu ya Rafa Tanzania amesikika akihamasisha na akisisitiza e, kwamba timu ya Rafa ni ya kwetu wote pamoja na Watanzania wajitokeze bila kujali itikadi zetu utofauti wetu wa, wa club na kadhalika kwa hiyo e, amezungumza kwa upana na ameweka ame, ame, ame vitu kwa usawa wake kwa na kile ambacho e, wengine walikuwa nakizungumza zungumza, zungumza e, siku chache zilizopita na huu ndio mwisho wa matangazo yao moja kwa moja kutoka uh, hapo ukumbi wa shirikisho la mpira wa miguu nchini uh, TFF uh, kuhusiana na uh, mechi za kimataifa mchezo wa kimataifa kati ya timu ya taifa ya Tanzania dhidi ya Algeria siku ya kesho saa moja kamiliza usiku mimi Mohamed Hussein Mane